Hello everybody. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to apply conditional formatting in MS Excel pivot table. Okay. So under home tab, we have conditional formatting. This is format as table. Okay. This is the table. You can see. Suppose we want to format this table. We can see there are different many options are there. Like if we want, we can also select. Suppose I will select this one. Okay. Then I will apply this. Conditional formatting. Under conditional formatting, you can see. So there are some of the options that we have been given that we can highlight the particular sales that are greater than certain values or top 10 or 10 percent, 20 percent or average. Okay, we can also do and data bars also we can create it depending on different color scales and color scales are also there. We can also use some of the icons. Okay, so let us learn one by one. Okay, so we can see. So greater than format cells that are greater than certain values this is the cell that i have selected and above uh, this value any cells is having the values that will be highlighted so this is the color indeed we have also different options we can or if we want to select or make our own custom format also we can create okay so let us start so here you can see so i have got this you can see so all select showing all cells showing sum of gross revenue values all cells showing sum of gross revenue value for journal okay this is the value for journal we book for this time here so we can see so these are the cells you can see that are having that uh, higher value than these cells that it tells about okay so we can uh, all, uh, whenever required uh, required we can do so this is greater than we have seen then we can also see then let us clear rule so uh, let us clear rule for the entire sheet then it tells about then less than between between means you can see there are two values so uh, you can have like two cells okay two values we can create or that add here and you can see what are the uh, that values being need to be highlighted okay suppose you want to find the deep, that uh, the number that are between like 5000 to 10000 those value that values will be highlighted here okay so likewise we have it cancel let us not apply so then top 10 top 10 percent okay you can also select suppose we do not want to add okay. here we have uh, one like grand total suppose we want we do not want to add grand total okay we want to this so we can also like uh, top 10 percent top 10 percent what are the top 10 percent this is the top 10 percent you can get it so this is one top 10 percent okay similarly let us clear rule enter then you can have you can uh, you have on the top or uh, bottom 10 items top 10 items similarly above average you can also see the above average these are the uh, volume that are found to be above average so these are the options you can explore whenever it is required okay clear rule and then you have also like data bar suppose we want to create data bar here you can also depending on the choices we can also solid fill suppose you want you can also so you have also here also color scale you can also use different color scale also you can use or you can see these are the by default color scales we have here suppose you want to change also suppose you want to make more rule also you can also do then icon also you can see the icons like um, when you have uh, less than average you will have a the down arrow when you have more than average it is upper or kind of things you will get it like this okay so these are the different color cells similarly for this also you have also like these are the um, actions you have also actions here labels okay for labels also you have also text based formatting also you can also use okay uh, text based it is text that contains like a particular things okay 
or uh, the something that alphabet that begins with A or B, C, okay, that uh, the word that begins with A, B, C kind of things you can also format like that, okay. So all these things, this is how you can use conditional formatting, let us see. So there are so many options that we have been given. So these options are sometimes we may need to highlight the sales rules like some greater than certain values, less than certain values or between two values, okay, equal to certain, you want the exact value that we can all text that contents uh, like uh, it can begin with A, B, C, D kind of things we can also, so date, particular date also you can highlight, duplicate values if there are you can also get. So then you have also top 10 items, top 20 items kind of things you can also see, then 10% above average, so data bar you can also create, then color scale also you can use, so different items, uh, icon also you can create, okay, that's for the lesson, see you in the next one.